So once more, what is the what are the letters? The letters are Chet, Dal, Vav, and Hey. Eight, four, six, and five. And this is the beat. This is the relative beat of the breath. This is also in Kabbalah called the Tikkun of Chava as Chaya. It says that had Eve, the first woman, not sinned, then her name, instead of being Chava, Chet Vavhe, if one would breathe without skipping over the second stage of holding the breath, then we would have here Chava. Eve. Had she not sinned, she would have been called Chaya. It's also a name. 23. What is Chaya? Chaya is adding to Chadva an additional Dalit. Because the Dalit and the Bab together are a Yud. So that transforms the name Chava into Chaya. Chaya is also the experience of the living breath. What does Chaya mean? It means the living one. That living one is one of the four, one of the five levels of the soul, the fourth level of the soul from below. And that experience of living one, that is also the experience of breathing. The experience of the fourth level, means the second highest level of the soul, just below Yechida, the single one, is the living one. And that living one is the, rec- that revelation is the rectification of, of Chava, and that is done, performed by adding to her the Dalit, which means adding the ability to hold the breath, which is actually the Chokhmah of the process. Mm-hmm. But by adding that Dalit and then making Chava into Chedva, one arrives at Chaya. So actually there's a three different feminine names. All of them are names of girls. Chava and Chedva and Chaya. And they're all related one to the other. All right, so this is the form. Once more, we can breathe now in this pattern of eight, four, six, and five. It means that the aspiration is like a, is an experience of a climbing process, the inhaling, filling the lungs or filling even the abdomen, is an experience of climbing. Aspiration is climbing up. And climbing is usually harder and takes longer, more effort than any other part of the cycle. That's why it also has the longest period to it. An eight count. Eight also represents supernatural, indicating that this is the level of Keter, which is superconscious. Right. Then comes a ratio which is called whole and half. The ratio, the relation between the Chet and the Dalad, the eight and the four is whole and half. Eight to four is like two to one. Meaning that the holding need only be exactly a half of the aspiration. Then through the holding, the aspiration is integrated. That's a most important ratio in the Torah that also now we don't have time to explain for Abu Lafia, the Mukubah that we quoted before. This is the most important ratio in all of Kabbalah, whole to half. It's called Shalem Vechetz. So the, once more, the ratio between the aspiration and the holding is this secret of hold and a half. If Chava doesn't have her Dalit, it means that she only experiences wholeness and not the additional halfness which makes the wholeness complete. As Abu Lafi explains, one of the basic problems of the psyche is the non-realization that wholeness is incomplete without the addition of halfness. But you have to be whole in half to really be complete. Right, so that's the chet, the ratio of the chet to the dalit. Then the downward motion, which is the exhalation, is the vav, and the rest is the he. The vav, dot, dot is called maftecha de kalil sheet. It's called the key of consciousness that opens up six rooms, six rooms or six states, six spaces, six places, as we said before, of consciousness, which are what shall become the six midot of the heart. That is da, at this point. That's why it's a vav. It's called the key that opens up the six. 
Maftecha de Kalil Shit. Uvedat, the verse for this in Mishlei and Proverbs is Uvedat Chadarimi Malu. With that, the rooms shall be penetrated and filled. The word for room in Hebrew, R O O M, is the same as penetration. The word for room means the potential to penetrate and to fill. Chadira. Uvedat Chadarimi Malu. The penetration and the filling of the rooms of the consciousness is the power of dot. And that's the exhalation, as we'll explain. That that power actually sends down the letter into its respective limb of the body. Then the rest is actually the spontaneous expression. When a person is spontaneously able to express himself without making an effort, that is the true rest. True rest is not going to sleep, or not becoming null, not becoming nothing. But true rest is like the sun shining its light spontaneously, effortlessness. That is the true meaning of rest, that one sense, what does it mean a sense? If a person is gifted with a sense, a sense means that it, that it behaves and becomes in a spontaneous manner. That is the manifestation of the sense itself when the energy is directed to its respective limb. An expression is the secret of hay. Hay is like the five fingers of a hand that opens up to express itself, to show itself. So this is the basic teaching of this rhythm and beat of eight, four, six, and five.